Hello, hello. Wonderful to see everybody joining this morning. Glad to see you this Tuesday morning. And welcome everyone officially to our uh, mon or our, to our Mind the Moments Tuesday morning gathering brought to you by Harvard Pilgrim Healthcare and Tufts Health Plan. This is a place where we invite experienced mindfulness instructors to speak with us about what mindfulness means to them and to discuss as a community how we can incorporate these practices into our daily lives. I'm Suzanne Rowe Palacino, and I'm so happy to be here this morning uh, with Shanti Douglas, a mindfulness instructor with Harvard Pilgrim Healthcare's Mindfulness Program. Hi, Shanti. Good morning. So happy to Hi. be here with you and with everybody else. Yeah, so great to have you back here. It seems like it's been a little while, so happy to see your face joining us Yay. this morning. <laughs> so, so nice to have everyone here with us this morning, and um, if there's any new people that have joined, um, special welcome to you, and of course, we're so happy to have our regulars here. So welcome this morning, and just for anyone that's new, um, Shanti will start us off with a question this morning. We'll have a few moments to uh, answer that question, chat a little bit about it, and uh, then uh, she'll share some thoughts with us, but then go right into at least a 12-minute a guided practice. And I say guided, it'll, there'll be a mixture of some guidance, also a little bit of silence um, to get folks used to that way of meditating. Um, and after that, we may have a few minutes for some questions or any comments or anything you'd like to share at the end. So if you go to the bottom of your Zoom screen and open up your chat, and when you do that, you can uh, click the at the bottom of that screen, the blue drop down menu that allows you to change hosts and panelists to everyone. And then so folks can uh, see your comments as they come in. Okay, so Shanti, what question do you want to start us off with this morning? Yeah, so, um... Just take a peek, you know, what are some situations that get you instantly hooked into an unpleasant thought pattern? So again, what are some situations that get you instantly hooked? Like it's like, there's not even a lot of thought. There's probably no thought that just gets you hooked into that thought pattern that, you know, might loop you in some way or just dramatize or dramatize things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting question. So many ways to answer it too. So the the thing that came to mind when we were talking about this a little bit, but I've been talking, thinking about it a little more, was that when I get a little bit of maybe bad news, mm -hmm. that I can take that steps further and further and kind of think, okay, well, if that happens, then does this happen? And then might that happen? And you know, it's so easy to get to get um, hooked into, well, if that, you know, what ifs kind right. of situation. Yeah, the cascade, right? Just the whole waterfall is tumbling down. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. It's, yeah. Uh, it doesn't take long for the mind to you know, <laughs> think about different scenarios. Exactly. And, the, and it's usually not in the way that we want to prescribe it. You know, it's usually, it's not usually in the way of like, oh, it'll be okay. And here's the positive outcome. It's usually, you know, related to that a safety mechanism of, you know, protection or, or how can I deal with this or even bringing in a past um, memory of something that may have happened that kind of re trigger something for you. Yeah, it's almost like a worst case scenario. Yeah. Um, like you say, protects us like, okay, well, I'll be ready for this if it happens. Right. But, yeah, yeah, if I prepare, if I prepare enough with these 7,000 different ways, then I'll have it on. I'll be ready when it comes. Mm -hmm. How about yeah. you, Shanti? What comes to mind with that question? Yeah. You? Um, you know, I think for me, it's, you know, maybe it's just like an offhand comment that somebody makes or, um, or, not meeting my expectation of how to show up. <laughs> it's all on me, right? Like mm -hmm. I'm expecting that return phone call or I'm expecting, you know, that sort of thing that, that goes with my mindset of how things should be according to Shanti um, sort of thing. And then, 
you know, I'll, I'll fill in the gap of why that's not happening, or maybe I'll get myself riled up without even noticing it and even separating relationship when it's not even true, right? I have no <laughs> idea what's, what's happening on the other side or what the reasons for that are. Yes, yes. Yeah. Can turn, can turn it back on us so quickly, can't we? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, some good things coming in as well. Um, so Julia mentions not knowing the outcome, uh, like traveling via airplane. I mean, like I hooked in the thought that things are going to be delayed, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. Yeah. 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 And that not knowing, you know, not knowing can take us in all kinds of directions, mm -hmm. right? And it says, when I make a mistake, I research what's what could go wrong and what could be fixed. My thoughts become obsessed and I can't even sleep. Yes. Yeah. We are hard on ourselves, aren't we? Yeah. Questioning something that I say and then dwelling on it. Mm -hmm. In the similar I, realm. I am with you on that one, Tammy. Yeah. You know, just mm -hmm. like you say something and it's like, oh, kind of ruminate back on that. Mm. There's a certain person that triggers those thought patterns in me always. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Those people that we're oversensitized to that it just seem to say, say the wrong thing every time. Right. Yeah. Something that just gets us. Mm. Yeah. It's a lot, lots of habits sort of showing up here or expectation, you know, I'm in the comments, habit, expectation, that uncomfortableness, that again, that not knowing of what's right there and and we're trying to fill the gap you know we're trying to 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 make sense of things because we're, we always want to get to that comfort level we like that ground we like that sense of knowing right? we we really really always i i believe we're always kind of going there even our body you know as part of nature is coming into that state of harmony. It's always seeking that harmony, whether the immune system is coming up and supporting that or, or whatever state, you know, a healing process is going on. Um, mm. that sense of, of uh, safety and balance. Mm. Yeah, and it's almost like um, we want to be prepared for the next thing, mm -hmm. you know? So we're always, you know, we are always thinking ahead. And that's like what you mentioned earlier, like protecting ourselves um, from certain outcomes. Mm. But yeah, you also we, mentioned driving, which is oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. can be a whole other thing that can get us get us in a in a thought pattern that might not be so positive. Right. Somebody cuts us off, somebody's just zipping by going, you know, 10 miles, 20 miles over the speed limit. And we're like, why are they in a rush? What's going on? Don't you know we should be safe? And, mm -hmm. and all of that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. So so now we're bringing their driving mode into our driving mode. Right. Really, even though we're we're on the same highway, okay, that's what they're doing. Kind of let that go as a fact and then take care of ourselves mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. noticing that we're caught so true yeah so I think you know I, I one of the things I've had an opportunity over the last uh, few months as you know I just bought a house and I'm creating all these gardens so I'm spending a ton of time in the dirt which I love it's like my you know really helps to keep you physically and mentally grounded and there's a lot of spaciousness that happens, right? It's, it's a mindfulness in motion to lift and shovel 12 yards of dirt, right? You're right there in what you're doing. And it really creates a lot of spaciousness. And then when there's a lot of spaciousness, I find that it's easier to see some of the, some of the little droplets that are coming in, right? The mind gets, it's not so foggy anymore. And it's really given me an opportunity to step back and, and to notice, when is it that I'm getting hooked? What is it that I'm thinking about as I'm doing this repetitive action, right? What has become the mantra in my mind? And it's not always the dirt, it's not always the planning. Sometimes it is an engagement that I've just had or I'm waiting for that phone call from somebody um, sort of thing. And I'll just, it will just, 
it gets really, really caught in my brain for a long time. And uh, it's interesting to kind of be able to pull back from that and just notice I'm stuck right now. This is really sticky right now. Mm -hmm. I think having that awareness is is really important because as we go through the day and the day is super busy, I think it's happening quite a bit. But since we don't have that spaciousness like we do when we've been working out in the dirt for a few hours, right? Because we're going from one thing to the next to the next, who knows what we're carrying? <clears throat> you know, who knows how, how, how many things have attached themselves to us? Um, so this is really where the practice of mindfulness and meditation are, are just so important, you know, to offering our space for that. Yeah. Hmm. So we're gonna um, we're gonna practice with some of that in a in a in a subtle way um, this morning. And anything else you'd like to share before I start with our meditation? No, I think this is perfect timing. Okay, great. So I'm gonna invite you to find a posture that that just feels really stable and secure. You know, one where we're not gonna be searching to to really change ourselves. And if you need to move around for a few moments to kind of get that place to offer yourself that place, feel free to do that. And with all of our practices, you can either keep your eyes open or closed, whatever is comfortable for you, whatever you prefer. And then just taking a few breaths, breaths with awareness breath with awareness that I'm right here. It's right now. Really letting go of any of the conditions that were needed to come to this place in this time. And connecting with yourself in this moment. Just letting everything else just softly go. And notice perhaps a level of ease that's being invited in by being here in this moment. where there's more space than normally happens during our every day. And today we'll be practicing not following and not getting entangled in really anything. We can practice noticing both the large and the small storylines or that inner dialogue or conversation, that commentary that can appear as we meet moments of life. Practice ground is our seat. And when we're here, quieter in the space of our seat, really make space for us to know ourselves more, to become more familiar with the habits and the workings of the mind, and the instantaneous reactions or responses we have to things. Sitting and being. Just noticing yourself. Noticing your experience. And somewhere along the way, there may be a physical sensation that calls your attention. It 
could be an itch or an urge to move, to relieve a tightness or a twinge. Perhaps there is a temperature change, sudden level of heat or a coolness. The invitation is to simply stay with the sensation. Stay with it and lean in, noticing how it's changing. The natural life cycle of this sensation. We don't need to direct it away from us. And we also don't have to move in and try to satisfy it. And perhaps we've already scratched that itch or moved our body to readjust. And that's okay, we just are aware of how quickly that response was to getting us back to a place where we feel more at ease, more comfortable. As you scan your body while you don't need to be looking for something, you find that it doesn't take too long to notice another request for attention. An itch in a different place, a twinge, a heat, a coolness, something else in the body that's looking for satisfaction. Be rebalanced with ease. And this is our practice moment. We can, again, lean in and just notice it. Notice that itch. Notice that heat. What are the micro sensations of that? How curious can we be to just be present? To be present with this thing that is really just having its own experience in its own life. Maybe that sensation gets louder, more vibrant. And then perhaps in the next moment without us getting hooked by it or needing it to be different, it instantly changes and might even disappear. And then maybe it'll show up in another place. So with all of this, we simply sit and be just noticing, working with a sense of unpleasantness, discomfort, change.
and really becoming aware of the impermanent state of things. Even though you may have an itch or some heat or a twinge, you're okay, it's okay. It'll change, it'll move. So I'll offer some more quiet space for us to practice. And hooking from the need change what's right there. Keeping the body and mind soft. To close our practice today, offering yourself a gentle smile, smile of inner strength and gratitude and appreciation. We're practicing and playing with the small so that we have the strength and the awareness to practice with the bigger things in life. Eyes have been closed, you can open them. Just refocus your gaze. And any thoughts or questions or commentary, feel free to put that in the chat. I'd love to hear some feedback. I just want to share that I have this major itch on my ear for the last eight minutes <laughs> from a mosquito bite. It's like, okay. It was my practice. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's funny. Thank you so much, Shanti. There's something that you mentioned early on in, in your practice that I'm, that, um, you know, it, sometimes we think that we've heard it here and there, but it's pretty profound. You, you were mentioning as as we settled in that we get to know the reactions of our mind and how being aware or being someone that practices mindfulness it's such an amazing tool that we can be aware of how our mind reacts and and make a different decision mm -hmm you know, and, and know what it's like to pause and say, okay, I am taking that a little further than I need to, um, you know, and maybe just pausing and thinking, okay, how does my body feel? How is this thought making my body feel? And maybe, maybe that thought is not true. Mm -hmm. So um, I thought that was, it was important to reiterate what you said because I think it's it's um 
something we can think about a lot during our day. Yeah, and our, uh, you know, our body will react and respond to, to the tension in our mind. And then, then we're really tired and we're tense and we're tight. And, you know, again, that whole cascade. But we, I mean, that's, you know, the practice of mindfulness is to, to be aware of what we're doing without judging and, and really offering a sense of care and inclusion. Yeah. Um, and it, it gives it, us that opportunity to, to reset all the time. Mm-hmm. And even though we've been, you know, people who practice this, that's why it's a practice. I mean, I still get upset. I still get jumbled up by stuff way less than I used to, for sure, like thousands of percent, but still. So it's, it's of interest, right? We, we get interested in, oh, what are the habits of your mind? Oh, what are the habits that I, that I have? Interesting, it's still here, wonderful. Good for me to know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sarah's, uh, someone's just, uh sharing something yeah yeah when we deal with pain um someone's shared about some some medical issues and that when we deal with pain our reaction can can make it worse Mm -hmm. it's so true and it helps you to right size the discomfort yeah Mm -hmm. i like that term too just being with it and knowing it passes is huge Spaciousness gained from meditation is huge as well. Yeah. Mm. Very, very true. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah. Well, thank you, Shanti, for offering this practice to us. It's um, so helpful as we go through our lives and deal with these everyday things. This is just part of our lives, mm-hmm. right? And uh, just uh, every little bit can help us to, to work with these little intricacies of our mind. So Thank you again for being here and for offering this practice. My pleasure is always to be here with everyone. Yeah. All right. And thank you everyone for joining. Um, And we'll be back here tomorrow morning at 830 as well as Thursday. So we'll see you soon. Thanks again, Shanti. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye. You too. Bye.